when you completed the circuit that you have uh, tested, um, it's time to create a symbol from your circuit. Open the circuit and then uh, save the circuit as the symbol. So for instance, I open the circuit and then save a copy as symbol.cct. And then I'll replace all the drivers uh, with ports. So this clock has to go, this binary switch has to go, this binary switch has to go. I have three input ports and two output ports uh, ready to be attached. Then on the right panel, uh, look for ports. And bring in uh, three port in for the three inputs we have and bring in two port out for two outputs we have. And then attach them to the corresponding wires. Um, if the orientation of the port is uh, not the way you're expecting, you can right click on the port and uh, rotate or uh, flip to get the correct uh, orientation. So I flip the uh, port horizontally, so it uh, faces to the left. Okay, um, so all the ports are attached. Uh, to verify that the ports are uh, connected, um, click on any of the ports, and then use the arrow keys, left, right, up, and down, and move the port around to make sure this is connected. So if the wire comes with the port, this is connected. Uh, I'll verify all the ports again. Okay, it all looks good. The next step is to select a name for every one of the ports. Right click on the port and then select name. And names should only be um, letters. There can't be any numbers in the port, uh, nor underscore, nor a space, uh, only combination of letters. Also pick a name for outputs. Okay. Um, when you name all the ports, um, this is ready to be converted to a symbol. So save this uh, file. Um, so make sure you're saving in symbol.cct, not overriding your uh, initial circuit. Um, and then I close all other tabs in here. Here I only have one single tab. So if you have multiple tabs here, close every one of the tabs using the uh, cross sign uh, at the top and make sure there is only one circuit open. Then I start uh, creating a symbol by uh, navigating to file, new device symbol. Okay, this is the, um, um, workspace for designing a new uh, symbol. Uh, first of all, we have to attach a um, implementation to this symbol. An implementation is the circuit that we just created, symbol.cct. From option, select sub-circuit and part type. And then the second option uh, is the option we use for attaching the implementation. Create a sub-circuit symbol and select an open circuit to attach to it. If you have um, several options, pick the right one. Here I only have one option uh, because I have only one circuit file open. So I select that, highlight that as blue, and then press OK, and then press Done. Okay. When it's done, you see the ports of your circuit showing up on the left palette. Uh, click on every one of the ports and verify the input is input and output is output as expected. So A, B, and C in are supposed to be input. Uh, S and C out are supposed to be output. If this is not what you expect, uh, do not press it. Go back to the circuit and fix it here and then recreate the symbol again. The next step is to create an interface for your implementation. Um, we use options, auto create symbol for creating the interface. Select the part name, select the name you want to show up on the uh, component 
um, when you're uh, instantiating one sample of this component. Uh, this is a full adder, so we call this one FA. And then um, put the inputs on the left side, put the outputs on the right. So if there is a port that you want to move around, you can uh, select the port, uh, port name and then uh, cut this text here and move to the area you want. So for this symbol, we get uh, three pins showing up on the left, one pin at the top and one pin at the right. So just uh, an example showing you how you can move the uh, signals around. Convention is to use inputs on the left, outputs on the right. And then uh, it looks good now. Um, when you're happy with your uh, names and port layouts, press generate symbol. Okay, that's uh, the generated signal. Click anywhere uh, on the area to deselect and see how does it look like. If you're happy with your uh, design, uh, you can save the symbol uh, from file, save. Uh, symbols must be saved in a library. They can't be a standalone file. Um, this is the first time we're creating a symbol, so we create a new library for it. And our library will show up here afterwards, and we can save all other symbols uh, inside the existing library. So this is our first time, let's create a new library. Select the path that uh, you want to Okay, I'm going to store my library in this path. Uh, remember the path that you're saving your library because you're going to refer that a lot. I'm going to name the library CPU project. Um, the uh, suffix.clf will be attached to the file name later. Okay, now the library that I uh, created uh, is listed in the destination libraries. Select the library and then press save. As soon as you press save, um, your library will include uh, in the right palette and you can see your component uh, existing there. Okay, um, and then you can instantiate a new circuit and uh, use this uh, symbol in your future circuits.